Hi everyone, a bit of a different adventure today and it is going to be us, as in me and my husband, um, testing out the tent box light XL as part of a, an adventure night away. So I have a Wednesday off and my husband took an annual leave. So finished work at half past five and then got packed up and we have just this minute got everything set up and it is half past seven. So not too bad actually, I'm pretty chuffed with how everything's went. So I won't spoil the surprise, we're just about to have some dinner which will consist of sus hot dogs, something nice and easy because we knew time would be tight and then we'll get everything set up upstairs and we'll show you everything and hopefully the plan is if I feel an up to it I will have an adventure to Tarlin tomorrow ooh, ooh. so yeah come along let's see how everything goes This is the adventuring setup for today. Bikes on the bike rack and tent box XL on the roof. And suitably impressed with how easy it was to set up. Granted, I did have a Kevin to help. Well, I've got a Kevin to do. I would say first set it up probably maybe took us 15 minutes but that was the first time we've put out all the bits in <laughs> these bits and getting the ladder right and everything but yeah hopefully I'll be able to report in the morning a good night's sleep and then I can relax because at this point in time a huge investment and really hoping that it works for us as a family. Decided to come out tonight without Isla, my daughter, just to get my test and see without any other worries. Um, and then if that goes well, then we'll be taking Isla on her first adventure. A good family tent. Went for the XL just so there was plenty of room for us. And went for the slate because I believe it's supposed to be darker and having a six year old who wakes at all times of the day. Well, all times of the morning, I um, want it as dark as possible so she'll hopefully sleep longer. But yeah, really impressed so far. Morning has broken and pleased to report I didn't sleep amazing, but that's quite common for me camping. I think I'm always listening out for something, but I was extremely comfy and that was my biggest worry. Investing all this money on a, a tent and then not being comfortable, but I did buy a mattress protector from Amazon that came recommended from one of the tent box um, Facebook pages. Um, nothing to do with tent box but one of the people had said it was really good so it's like, it's like memory foam with a little bit of gel as well and it did make a, a huge difference. I was really I was really comfortable overnight. No sore hips or short elbows and coming inside it's very very cosy and comfortable. I brought two pillows from home just to make it nice and comfortable. Yeah, it's just been a perfect night, very cosy. We've got the XL just for lots of room and it's like a super king sized um, super king sized mattress. So yeah, it was very very comfortable for us overnight. Just about to put some breakfast on, Lauren sausage and we're gonna have a quick wash down by the river and then we're gonna head over to Tarland Trails and have a bit of fun there. Glorious day today, so making the most of a sunny Wednesday, my day off from work. And we'll bring you along and I'll catch up with you later. everyone so that's us arrived at Tarlin Trails and it's absolutely glorious it's the nicest day I've had in the trails and um, they're really dry and I, I've, do, I've actually just gone up and done the blue just as a warm-up just to settle the nerves and the trails are really dry and I definitely need new tires because I can feel them losing grip underneath um, that's not an excuse either it genuinely is especially on the big berms I can feel my tires wanting to wash out so we'll be getting, going home and ordering up a set, I think. But we're going to go up and try a new trail I've never done before. 
I think it's Call Me Chris, Chris Cross, and then Crowd Surfing, so it's two reds and then a blue. I think I'll just take it nice and slowly the first time, just suss it all out, maybe walk a couple of bits if I'm unsure, and then I'll go back up and I'll put the camera on for both, um, just to see the kind of difference in pace between me going the first one, and then hopefully the second one picking it up and building a bit of confidence. And then I think we'll finish on the big red spine um, before heading home. That's the one that I came off on. So I really want to conquer that, to, to settle all nerves and put, lay it to rest, so to speak. But no silly stuff today. I'll get the GoPro on and see how much footage we can get. Kevin's got the drone up. Um, we've just climbed to the top of Call Me Chris and I have never been up here before. Typical of me, you can probably hear the drone buzzing. Um, typical of me, I'd rather um, stick to what I know rather than do anything different. So I've been to Tarland, what, four, this is our fourth time, and never done Call Me Chris or Criss Cross or Crowd Surfing. So this is going to be my attempt at them. It is absolutely stunning up here. There's a beautiful cairn. I'll just turn you around in a minute. Um, and then you can see the Presendai Hill just behind it where the other red goes off. And yeah, it's really, really nice up here. It is helping that the weather is glorious. We're not getting much weather like that at the moment. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. I've got the GoPro on the chest, so we'll see how it goes on the way down. I'm looking forward to it. Already I can see a wee drop, so... Already I can see a wee drop, so I will go down and just have a look at how severe it is, but I don't think it's bad. I can feel the nerves trembling, but oh, I hope I'll be okay. Got to give it a shot. That's a Kieran I was telling you about. That's Kevin doing his thing with a drone. Looks as though there's a new trail under construction here. I don't know anything about it. I've not seen anything in um, Instagram about it so far, but already I can see a bit of a gnarly looking bit, so I suspect it's probably a trail that's out of my capability. But here we go, call me Chris. I'm about to go down it, see how it feels. Right, call me Chris, be good to me. Tight climbers. for ages debating it and it's nothing. Oh never mind. Never mind. Right line. Yes, that feels so good. I like, I like. I'm doing it, so just take it easy, Elaine. Oh, these berms are steep. Ah, 
<laughs> so good. So, so good. So that was, call, call me Chris, was it? Yeah. And then this is crisscross. This is good. <laughs> no, thank you, not today. <laughs> Guys, high pressure. <laughs> no pressure on high pressure. <laughs>
sideburn. Oh, fuck. <sighs> Sorry. <sighs> How on earth did I manage this before? Feel the fear and do it anyway, Elaine. Come on. You've got this. Oh, yes. Need a triangle, so that's just on high pressure one, two, and three. I've got no idea where one stops and the other starts. Height burns. Too hot into these berms. I'm a bloody tired of shit. Put some music over this to negate my heavy breathing. And yes, I know I'm on a knee bike, but it takes effort to get this body down a hill. Oh. Nice. <laughs> oh. I told him I was going to tell him about the drop, and then I didn't. Well done. <laughs> you did it amazingly as well. That's just what I needed to see. I just had a mind block, and oh, I got yeah. to it. It's just ballsy, isn't it? Kevin did it and then I saw used to it and I was like, no, bug it, I'm gonna do it.
fine. Let's be having you. Wash out. What a neck. I was going to wait to get new tyres at limit last because I know that the Chori are there. But no way. I need them now. Yeah, did you do it? Ah, oh. did you do it? Well done. Uh -huh. This is us coming up to the scene of the accident, so I am not. Oh yeah, that's the off camber that put me off. Survived it. You want to go in front? Oh, is it you? Yeah, you want to go in front? No, have you?
I um, conquered the whole red. Only had that wobble on that first drop. Oh, I don't know what it is about that drop, but I'm not going to beat myself up over it. I did it. I'm so delighted. Just straight off, the last one I had the issue with was spine, um, and I went straight over that with no problem whatsoever. I never even thought about it. So, all in all, a really successful day, and I think I've potentially conquered the nerves. Felt as though I kept a reasonable play, pace. I've had a few washouts on the tyres. I don't know if that's just dry conditions because I'm not experienced enough to kind of understand or whether it is just the tyres and I just need to bite the bullet and get them renewed. But I'll speak to the powers that be, i.e. D Cox and Joe Cox, see what they think. And um, yeah, big thanks to Julie Mac MTB. You can find her on Instagram and D. Uh, Northern Chubby Girl, I would never have been able, and obviously Joe Cox, because what we did in Tireland a few videos ago where I had the crash um, was amazing, and that's what allowed me to do that all pretty much in one go today. So, over the moon, progression is happening, and I'm delighted to see it. Also, big thanks to Ride Out, uh, Ride Out Coaching and Riding Peace Adventures, because ultimately their coaching has got me more comfortable on the trails as well. So, I'm probably babbling now. My arms are trembling, I'm tired, I need to go home, I need a bath, I need to lie down. But celebrating, stayed upright, survived, and I think I nailed it. Thanks for watching as always, and I will see you soon for even more adventures. Lots happening.